and one of Jackson's original students thought his star would shine brighter in Tinseltown. Diego Sanchez was on the fast track to stardom. His rag-to-riches story read like a Hollywood script, but then came an unexpected twist in the plot. I laid a lot of the, a lot of the groundwork down. Me, Greg, and Keith, and Tom Schulte, were the, and Kyle Seals, were the original four fighters out of Greg Jackson's, and um, everybody was winning, and everything was going good. But, uh, like I said, a young kid from Albuquerque growing up in the mobile home parks, um, instantly thrown at me uh, money and fame. You know, I lived it up for a while, and uh, I still worked hard, and my work ethic was what, what pulled me through my fight career was was staying busy in the fight game and also just being able to work hard. And uh, I, I've, I'm a firm believer of hard work and outworking people. And so that's what pulled me through my times and my, my battles with with uh, being addicted to partying. And more than anything, addicted to fame, um, addicted to the limelight. You know, I was young, I was successful. I had a, I had, a, I had character, and, uh, and, I, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I rode the wave. I, rode, I, I was riding the wave. And um, at the time I was 19 and 0, undefeated. I had just beat Carl Parisian, who was known as one of the top fighters in the division. Uh, I, had, uh, I also had won the ultimate fighter, and uh, I had a lot of positive momentum going into a title shot. A lot of people in the mixed martial arts field were saying, what's, why, why isn't he getting a title shot? What's, what's waiting so long? At the time, it was a, a, a weird place for me because I felt I had worked so hard and um, I earned everything that I earned. And uh, Matt Sarah heard his back and they decided to give GSP uh, a title shot, uh, a short notice title shot. And so, GSP got in there and uh, filled the spot for Matt Serra and became world champion. Me being the type of uh, fighter I was, you know, from the streets here in Albuquerque, tough, uh, mini and gritty, came up with nothing. You know what I mean? Uh, it, I felt, I felt betrayed that we would let a, an outsider in to be a part of the team. But, you know, I respected Greg's decision. It was after that that I had I had decided that I needed to go. I was just down and out on life, and even being here in Albuquerque, uh, I was being sucked into the wrong area. I was at the club, at the at the bar, at the bar every Friday and Saturday, doing the wrong things for my career. In a way, I, in a way, I was on a mission to prove to the world. Because um, that's what got me there in the first place was me believing in myself. Um, you know, me just throwing the middle finger at all all the doubters and saying, you know what, no, I'm gonna do this. You know, a lot of people thought I was crazy. Uh, like a lot of people said, this guy's delusionary. He's out there. But no, I believe, and that's where my success all came from. Was from my inner belief, my faith. Me to feel that I was. Just even just a little bit doubted on, um, I, I was on a mission to go, to go and prove to the world that I was the best fighter in the world, and to do it on my own. And something about a man when you make a decision, you say, "Well, I could do this by myself." You know what I mean? And mixed martial arts is a team sport, and the training partners that you have will will take you to the next level. Did you, um, do you ever regret leaving? You know, I never regret leaving, and I sometimes look back on, and see how things could have been if I would have stayed, and how things could have turned out really good if I would have stayed. But if I would have stayed, I wouldn't be the guy that I am now. This is going to be probably the most important part that I can say for the documentary, mm -hmm. is that MMA is a very, very sensitive uh, business because you get emotions and business involved and you know you've always heard the whole saying 
don't mix family and business because it doesn't, it doesn't, there's always going to be falling outs. And when it deals with money, and the bottom line is, this is how we make our living. This is how we make our living. This is our business. And business is business. And so that's why we can't get our feelings hurt. Respect a man's decision. Respect a man's decision, whatever it is. And when Greg made the decision to bring on GSP, I respected his decision. Because Greg's a great man. He's probably one of the most positive people I've ever met in my life. And he has a great family and, and, and he's paying the bills and he's taking care of his family. You know what I mean? That's his gym. That's his business. You know what I mean? My business is my business. Being the best fighter that I can be. And that, if that means going somewhere else, it means going somewhere else. And that's my decision.